Atlantic Broadband Cable, in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors, presents the South Union Township Sports Network. This evening via tape delay from Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium, the home of the Laurel Islands Mustangs. It is the 95th battle between the Laurel Islands Mustangs and the Uniontown Red Raiders. Hi again, everybody. Along with Jerry Dupay, I'm John Kazarek, and welcome aboard to our coverage as one of the premier rivalry games in the WPIL. Before we come back on senior night uh, with the player and cheerleader introductions, I do want to remind you that South Union Township Sports Network coverage, as always, being brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Tom Frankhauser, Atlantic Broadband, Comcast, and Armstrong Cable Companies, and of course our good friends at CUTV, J.R. Wheeler, Gary Smith, and their staff. To my left, we've got Jerry Dupay. I'm John Kazarik on this rather uh, chilly, but uh, at least we're able to get it in. This is the first time Laura Islands and Uniontown have played in over a week. As you well know, we have been bombarded by uh, two major snowstorms that have really shut down the area, but it's great to be out here tonight and doing tonight's ball game. We'll be back with senior night introductions right after this. Centers for Rehab Services, a partner of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Located at 84 North Gallatin Avenue in Uniontown, we provide physical therapy, occupational therapy, industrial rehabilitation, aqua therapy, and hand therapy with a certified hand therapist. Centers for Rehab Services values patient satisfaction as one of the highest of priorities and offers excellent care in a patient-centered environment. Our professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure cost-effective care and meaningful functional outcomes for our patients. Jim Burns, a lifelong Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy positions that allow him to mentor physical therapy students in his clinic. He invites you to stop by and discuss your situation. Centers for Rehab Services is participating with all major insurance plans, including Medicare, UPMC Health Plan, and all of the Highmark products. We are available five days a week and offer extended hours until 8 o'clock p.m. Patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours. Walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access, which does not require a physician's prescription. We work with many physicians and other health care providers to get you back into the game. For more information, please call us at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice. So ask for the quality and results leader. It's your health. It's your choice. Centers for Rehab Services. Ladies and gentlemen, 
member of the team for four years. He's a member of the school newspaper. He's the editor, the internet, math club, math competition team, carrying team, junior achievement, national honor society, cross country and track teams, member of the Blitz 303 basketball team. Ronnie plans to attend college after high school and hopefully to continue on playing basketball. Ladies and gentlemen, Ronnie Padella. Let's do this like up here. Number 50, Paul Herman. No, John, John. That's going to conclude our senior night uh, festivities. Outstanding job by uh, Barry Rosner. And we'll be back with a look at the starting lineups and more as South Union Township Sports Network coverage continues. Brown Smiley Nedley Insurance Agency was established in 1933 by Darrell W. Smiley, 
The agency has been owned and operated since 1990 by Harry Nedley, a lifelong resident of Uniontown. Brown Smiley Nedley offers all lines of insurance, including homeowners, auto, farm, and business, and the agency also offers life and health insurance as well as long-term care coverage. Brown Smiley Nedley is an independent agency representing a number of carefully selected carriers. We are also brokers so that we can obtain those out of the ordinary coverages that are occasionally needed. Our mission at Brown Smiley Nedley is to help you design a plan of insurance that best fits your needs and budget and to establish a long-term relationship with our customers built upon trust. Our staff includes Harry Nedley who holds the Accredited Advisor in Insurance designation. Tina Smeal, who holds the Certified Insurance Service Representative designation. Shawnee Shank, who holds the Life Underwriters Training Council Fellowship designation. And Cheryl Ward, who handles all bookkeeping services. We welcome you to stop by our office at 313 Morgantown Street here in Uniontown for a no-cost review of your insurance. Brown Smiley Nedley is also a part owner of Fayette Insurance Associates of Uniontown. The Brown Smiley Nedley Agency would like to go to work for you, so give us a call at 724-437-4504. Coal Bank & Associates, located at 701 North Main Street in Masontown, is your neighborhood tax professional. We provide a friendly, private, and professional atmosphere, and our tax firm is government approved for electronic filing. Your return is back within 7 to 14 days. Coal Bank & Associates provides fast, accurate tax service while being bonded and insured. So make an appointment today with Coal Bank & Associates, 701 North Main Street, Masontown. Good job by Barry Rosner and Liz Dunham in uh, moving Senior Night activities along at a fairly brisk pace. Now let's turn our attention to the hardwood out here tonight. This, my friends, should be a, a good one. Laurel Highlands uh, meeting Uniontown. Uniontown leads in this series 56 to 38. LH has won six of the last 10. The Raiders have won 19 of the last 26. LH, of course, won the ball game uh, down at Uniontown earlier in the year, the first half of the season. Won it uh, going away pretty handily. But here tonight, Uniontown primed for a good effort. They are four and five on the year, six and 12 overall. Head coach Robbie Kazmarski is eighth year with the program. Harry Kaufman and David Winfrey, the assistants. Of course, Kaz, a 1990 Laurel Highlands graduate, played in a few of these on his own. In fact, three of them and had an outstanding career here at Laurel Highlands. Uniontown averaging 55.9 points per game, allowing 61.4. And their starting lineup will feature Daryl Ricks. He'll be one of the forwards, double zero, six two, junior, 10.8 points per game. Evan Arison, 5'9", senior, number one, 8.7 points per game in the backcourt. Dracar Winfrey, a 5'10 senior, 3.4 points per game. He's number four. And Samori Skeeter Wilson, number 24. They're leading a score at 15 a ball game. He'll be in the backcourt. And up front, Arnold Walker, 6'1 senior, number 32. Ricks, Arison, Winfrey, Wilson, and Walker, the starting five. You can look for Marcus Thomas, Carrick Morris, and Maurice Godfrey off the bench along with Chris Hall. We'll be back with a look at LH right after this. The Kazmarski Funeral Home, located at 71 Pennsylvania Avenue in Uniontown, is owned and operated by Stephen E. Kazmarski III. The Kazmarski family is proud to announce the opening of its new and spacious service chapel and viewing area. The chapel will be used for funeral services that will be conducted in the funeral home and will also be available to families for use during visiting hours. Stephen Kazmarski, a lifelong resident of Uniontown, is dedicated to serving families in a unique professional and caring manner. The funeral home offers pre-need funeral service, cremation services, and accepts the transfer of pre-arrangements. With funeral service changing in our local area, the Kazmarski Funeral Home is very proud to say that they are locally owned and operated. 
Stephen Kazmarski III and the staff are members of your community. They are dedicated to providing a quality service at a most reasonable price. Remember, caring is our main concern. For more information, call the Kazmarski Funeral Home at 437-7555 or at your convenience, stop by and see our remodeled facility and new elegant chapel and viewing area. Welcome to Chikini Advanced Center for Dentistry, where we specialize in the latest dental techniques. Sedation dentistry is a safe, effective way to get the treatment you need to maintain oral health. This is the only way I would have extensive dental work done again. Now I can get back to good dental health faster by getting more treatments done in one visit. Bringing smiles to life. Chikini Advanced Center for Dentistry, Cherry Tree Lane, Uniontown. controls their own destiny as far as the section. Uh, they are uh, half a game back of Greensburg-Salem. Greensburg-Salem at 9-1, and 15-4 overall. LH 8-1, uh, 18-1 and one, 18 and one overall. Mount Pleasant, Indiana, and Uniontown battling for those uh, last two playoff spots. Mount Pleasant at 6-4, and four, Indiana at 5-5, five and, five, and Uniontown at 4-5. and five. This is a must-win situation here tonight for the Uniontown Red Raiders. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for the Rick Hogger uh, led Mustangs. Jack uh, Beener and Ed Zelich are the assistant coaches. And taking a look right now, we have got Matt Shaw up front, number three, a 6'3 junior four a game. Zach Partika, 6'1 junior in the backcourt, five, uh, number five, seven a game. Devontae Walton, the point guard, 5'7 junior. He's number 10, three and a half points per game, four assists per game. And Jacob Hoke, 6'2", senior, number 24, 7.1 points per game, along with Ethan Mildren, a 6'4", senior, number 40, 22 and a half points per game. Laurel Highlands won the uh, first game down at Uniontown, 64 to 35 on January 19th. Big ball game from Ethan Mildren with 27, Tommy Kahn with 12. The Raiders uh, that night were led by Carrick Morris with nine. So you're gonna see a good effort here tonight from Uniontown. They need this win badly. Laurel Highlands needs it likewise to protect home court and keep alive their hopes and thoughts and plans for a section title. The officials have come onto the floor and that concludes our pregame. We'll be back with a, uh, the national anthem and the alma mater and then the start of tonight's game right after this. Tonight's game is being brought to you in part by State Representative Tim Mahoney of the 51st Legislative District. With offices in Uniontown and Connellsville, Representative Mahoney is dedicated to providing the best leadership and quality representation to his constituents. He can be reached at 66A Lebanon Avenue in Uniontown, 724-438-6100, and in Connellsville at 1402 Memorial Boulevard, 724-626-1164. Good luck to the Mustangs from State Representative Tim Mahoney of the 51st Legislative District. Thank you. 
national anthem with Laurel Highland senior basketball player, Casey Bondarenko. And now the alma mater, and then we'll be back with the introduction of the starting lineups. There's your starters for the Raiders. Daryl Ricks, Evan Arison, Drakkar Winfrey, Samori, Skeeter Wilson, and Arnold Walker. And now we go back to Barry Rosner and the introduction of the Laurel Highlands starting lineup. starting lineup up front it'll be Hoke Mildren and Matt Shaw the backcourt will feature Devontae Walton at the point and Zach Partika as the off guard your officials tonight Nick Maria uh, Craig Spisak and Bruce Kelly and we'll be back with the opening tip right after this of the year again. Hart Baseball 2010 registration is up and coming. It will be at the South Union Township Municipal Building 10 o'clock a.m. to 2 o'clock p.m. every Saturday during the month of February. That's February 6th, 13th, 20th, and 27th at the South Union Township Municipal Building 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Registration fees, one child $50, two children $45, three or more $40 per child. A $10 late fee will be applied for any accepted player registration received after February 27th. All registration fees are non-refundable. Full payment is required at the time of registration. Please bring your child to the sign-up for uniform sizing. That's the Hart Baseball 2010 registration all four Saturdays in February, the 6th, 13th, 20th, and 27th at the South Union Township Municipal Building, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m.
Okay, we are ready to roll. Laurel Highlands uh, will move to our right as moving into Jump It Up will be Daryl Ricks against Ethan Mildren. Your official's in. The tap controlled by LH. Shaw's got it immediately. Lost it, got it back, and Hope controls it. Looks like they're settling into a zone. Uniontown, normally a man-to-man -man team. Here's Partika, Walton, go to the corner. Hope driving, kicks it out. Partika for three, and no. Battle inside, Shaw lays it up. He won the rebounding battle and got the follow. So LH goes up two to nothing. Man-to-man -man applied here is up over the timeline. Now will come Skeeter Wilson. Wilson will swing it over here to the left side. Winfrey now gets it to Arison. Here's Walker out high. Kick it back now to double zero Ricks on a cut. Holding it outside now is Wilson. LH definitely going man right now. Walker comes out high. Uniontown running uh, effectively with their size uh, problems. I would say five guards. All five uh, can handle the ball. All five can shoot from the outside. And they will uh, primarily uh, eschew any uh, type of low post offense. Baseline drive. Walker doubled up. Kick it back out. Three ball on the way. Won't drop. Rebound off the miss. Taken down. Here's where LH has a decided advantage. Nice rebound by Mildren up high. Kick it out now. Looking, looking. With it now is Partika, swing back. Partika looking, LH leading it two to nothing at the 638 mark. They'll go to the corner, spotting up. This is gonna be way off the mark. Ball was tipped and here come the Raiders on the fly with it is Wilson driving, firing, no. Rebound, battle four and one, taken down here by Jacob Hoke. Get it ahead now to uh, Walton, Devonte straight down the middle, goes all the way and missed the lay in. Good pressure by the Raiders. Off with it now comes Evan Harrison. A chance for the Raiders to tie, and they do just that. Skeeter Wilson knocks it down and make it a 2-2 ball game. Good crowd on hand, but definitely not the sellout that you would normally have here, and that's because of the inclement weather. And, uh, oh, almost went up, went down. Mildren out of the corner, rims it out, no good. Rebound down, taken off, and that's where he's most effective is in that corner. He can hit the three. Swing it over here to left side. Hoke almost with the steal. Drive and firing, and the Raiders can't come out of there with it. Off the miss by Winfrey. Here comes LH with Partika. Partika now with the game tied at two. Go to the right side for Hoke. Hoke looking. Hoke baseline. Doubled up. Kick it out. This is into the backcourt. Was it touched? And it was not, so it's over and back. LH turns it over. And Uniontown will get another opportunity to take their first lead of the night. Shaw hit the first hoop, and Wilson tied it up at two. And the Raiders with an opportunity here to take an early lead at the 526 mark. With the basketball now is Skeeter Wilson. Get it out on top now to Evan Arison. Arison looking. Kick it back now to Ricks. And Laura Highland's playing very uh, aggressive man-to-man. -man. Here's a drive, Wilson. Get it to Ricks, kick it to the corner. Walker drives, cut off, and bangs it home. Nice move on the baseline that time by Walker to make it a 4-2 to two ball game. Uniontown 4, LH 2. Go to the corner to Hoke. LH having trouble getting it inside. Here's Walton. Partika left alone, didn't pull the trigger. Now kicks it out to Hoke. Hoke lost it, got it back. Goes inside to Shaw, inside out. Partika, good defense by the Raiders. They have denied anything inside. And there it is inside going up. The shot put up, won't go. Rebound loose on a deck, picked up. Partika lays it in to tie it at four. Got the loose ball and laid it up and laid it in. 4-4 four, four ball game as we play to the 4-23 mark. Basketball now in the hands of Drakkar Winfrey. Winfrey looking for some help. Shaw tips it. Uniontown recovers, setting the screen now is Walker, rolling off the screen is Skeeter Wilson. Wilson down the lane, all the way, fires, no. Rebound to the corner, and good play here by Bartika to save it, gets it ahead to Walton. Devontae pulls out, kick it over here to Hoke. Hoke driving, underhand scoop, no. Shaw picks up the rebound, lays it in. So Shaw gives LH the lead at six to four, he's got four. LH six, Uniontown four. With the basketball now is Evan Arison. Arison at long range now. Swing it over here to the right side to Drakkar. Here's Drakkar driving off the glass. No. Rebound. Oh, LH had it, but good work by Uniontown. 
jumper put up. No, and this time Shaw has the glass. Off the miss by the Raiders, and here comes Devontae Walton between the circles. Looking now inside for Mildred. They lob it down inside. He posts up, fires off the glass, off balance. Great move there by Ethan Mildred. And LH now makes it an 8 4 ball game. LH 8, the Raiders 4 to 306 mark. With it now comes Skeeter Wilson, get it to Arison. They go inside, loose ball. LH comes out of there with it, stolen away. Tipped and recovered by uh, LH's Mildred. With the corner now, here's Shaw. Get it back, Partika spotting up, three ball down. Partika sticks the three, and at the 247 mark, LH 11. Uniontown four and the Raiders take a timeout. We'll be right back. Centers for Rehab Services, a partner of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Located at 84 North Gallatin Avenue in Uniontown, we provide physical therapy, occupational therapy, industrial rehabilitation, aqua therapy, and hand therapy with a certified hand therapist. Centers for Rehab Services values patient satisfaction as one of the highest of priorities and offers excellent care in a patient-centered environment. Our professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure cost-effective care and meaningful functional outcomes for our patients. Jim Burns, a lifelong Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy, positions that allow him to mentor physical therapy students in his clinic. He invites you to stop by and discuss your situation. Centers for Rehab Services is participating with all major insurance plans, including Medicare, UPMC Health Plan, and all of the Highmark products. We are available five days a week and offer extended hours until 8 o'clock p.m. Patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access, which does not require a physician's prescription. We work with many physicians and other health care providers to get you back into the game. For more information, please call us at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice. So ask for the quality and results leader. It's your health, it's your choice. Centers for Rehab Services. Eleven four 4 ball game at the 247 mark. LH on top. Uh, they've gone on a seven point run. Actually, uh, a nine-point run. They trailed it at four to two. So Uniontown with the basketball, and up over the line comes Wilson. Into the lineup, we've got Moore. So had a big ball game down at. Uh, here's a loose ball recovered by the Raiders. Arison now, kick it back out on top to Skeeter. He's driving the left head of the circle, baseline drive. Shot is blocked out of there. Great play by Mildren as Marcus Thomas had it blocked, and we got a whistle, a call, and a foul. What a block by Mildred. So LH will inbound it at three-quarter court. And the inbound feed will come. Here comes Devontae, looking for Partika on the left wing. Partika at long range. Lobs it inside, the catch, the shot there. Beautiful pass down low. Mildren's got four beautiful feet from Partika, and LH up by nine now. Up over the line, here comes Wilson. Skeeter holding, swing to the left side. Go to the corner to Morris, shot out of there, is put up, won't drop. Rebound ripped off again by Mildren. He's got probably four rebounds already. Up over the line with 150 to go, Partika, Mildren. Partika left alone, he'll go to the corner. Shaw for three. No, rebound going up hard. Mildren keeps it alive. They battle inside hard, and boy, a lot of hacking, a lot of banging, and his possession arrow goes to Uniontown. So into the lineup for Laura Highlands will come Tommy Kahn. Good effort by Matt Shaw as he picked up three rebounds and four points. Raiders are windbounded with Arison with 1.40 to go. LH up by nine at 13 to four. 
Skeeter with it. Go to the left side, baseline drive. With the ball, there's Thomas. Kick it back out down the lane. The shot blocked. Rebound picked back up by the Raiders. They get it down into the corner. And the shot put up. Nice move that time by Carrick Morris. 13-6 your score, LH. Get it now to Partika. Go to the corner. Mildren for three. This is going to be short. Rebound picked up by Kahn. No. Second time, and he's fouled. Boy, Kahn has been an animal on the boards for LH as he has got uh, really aggressive on the glass. Great leaping ability, good timing. And Tommy Kahn is at the line shooting two. Tommy averaging 6.9 points per ball game. The lead is seven. The lead is still seven. Missed it. Into the lineup for Laura Highlands will come Nesser. Nate has become a key cog in this machine. His playing time has increased. His productivity has increased. One of two at the line. LH now by eight at 14 6, 105 to go. LH 14, Uniontown 6, exactly a minute as Wilson brings it up, looks for Harrison. Nesser right on him. Good defense by Nesser. Kick it back now. They go to Carrick Morris. Baseline drive inside. The shot blocked. Out of there with it comes LH. Running it down the middle. Devontae goes in, lays it up. No. Tip by Kahn. And I think we got over the back on Tommy Kahn. That'll be his first. Devontae got in deep and couldn't quite get it to go off the bank. Kahn followed and the foul. It'll be go against Tommy Kahn. 40 seconds to go. LH by eight. Up over the line, here they come. Skeeter Wilson, Harrison out of the corner. Off the mark, no, rebound Devontae. LH wants to run. Devontae gets it now to Nesser. Nesser, kick it back out on top. Here's Den Nesser inside, the catch in out. Go to the corner, Jacob drives, going hard to the hoop and lay it up, no, rebound loose. Picked off by Marcus Thomas. Here comes Thomas, get it up ahead now to Samari. This one will go to the corner, out of bounds, LH basketball. Six seconds to go, so LH will get the last shot unless they turn it over here. And here, I'm surprised Uniontown didn't come out and pressure him. Devontae to the corner, this is for three, no. So LH will lead at the end of one. It's Laura Highlands 14, Uniontown six will be right back. Brown Smiley Nedley Insurance Agency was established in 1933 by Darrell W. Smiley. The agency has been owned and operated since 1990 by Harry Nedley, a lifelong resident of Uniontown. Brown Smiley Nedley offers all lines of insurance, including homeowners, auto, farm, and business, and the agency also offers life and health insurance as well as long-term care coverage. Brown Smiley Nedley is an independent agency representing a number of carefully selected carriers. We are also brokers so that we can obtain those out of the ordinary coverages that are occasionally needed. Our mission at Brown Smiley Nedley is to help you design a plan of insurance that best fits your needs and budget and to establish a long-term relationship with our customers built upon trust. Our staff includes Harry Nedley, who holds the Accredited Advisor in Insurance designation. Tina Smeal, who holds the Certified Insurance Service Representative designation. Shawnee Shank, who holds the Life Underwriters Training Council Fellowship designation, and Cheryl Ward, who handles all bookkeeping services. We welcome you to stop by our office at 313 Morgantown Street here in Uniontown for a no-cost review of your insurance. Brown Smiley Nedley is also a part owner of Fayette Insurance Associates of Uniontown. The Brown Smiley Nedley Agency would like to go to work for you, so give us a call at 724-437-4504. Fourteen six as we go to the second quarter, LH will possess the basketball. Uniontown had one lead that was at 4-2. Here comes LH, Nesser, Devontae in the backcourt. Swing it out here to Nesser. 
Nate lobs it inside the catch. Mildren is hammered and no call. LH basketball. They're letting them play inside. I think it was Jason Winfrey might have got the ball there. Uniontown's outstanding girls coach. And we'll be covering him uh, coming up here in a few nights. Lob it into Kahn and he is hammered. Little alley-oop and this will be a non-shooting foul on the floor. This one will go on Arnold Walker. So LH will put it in play. Go to the corner now. Out of bounds and through the hands and off of Mildren. Ethan pleading his case and it goes over to Uniontown at the 739 mark. Go to the corner, three ball coming, won't drop. Rebound Walker, kick it back out. Penetration, Walker from uh, the arc fires, no, rebound down. Here comes LH running, Mildren gets it up ahead and they throw it away inside, but fortunately get it back. Driving Walton and he'll go for the three point play the old fashioned way. So Devonte to the line. And off the bench for Laura Highlands will come Partika, and he'll give uh, Jacob Hoke a breather. Senior night here tonight. Honored the Laura Highlands cheerleaders and basketball players. So to the line goes Devonte. On the way and no. Rebound down and held ball, going to go to Uniontown on the possession arrow. So it will come over now to Drakkar Winfrey. Drakkar hands it in and with 7.16 to go, LH up by 10. That has been their biggest lead of the night. They go inside, down low, ball loose on the deck, kick it back out on top. With it right there is Thomas. Walker out of the corner, shot short, rebound, loose, good hustle here by Winfrey, good up to Ricks and Banker by Arnold Walker, makes it an eight point game. Here comes LH and the ball was kicked and LH win bound it at the 646 mark, leading it by eight. Toss it into the backcourt, get it now in the hands of Devontae Walton. Walton driving, lost it, does get it to Partika. He's tied up, the ball loose out of bounds. Raider basketball. And Raiders could cut it now to six. 6.26 to go, driving, firing, and no. Rebound tip, Partika's got it, gets it ahead to Mildren, and now they come with Nesser. Nesser looking. Get it to Mildren, go to Devonte. pull up Jay on the way, yes! Devonte gets it back to a 10-point game. devonte has got four. LH 18, Uniontown eight at the 6.03 mark. Second quarter. Driving, losing it out of bounds was Marcus Thomas. 5.58 to go. Right down in the first row behind the basket there, see Tim Mahoney along with Jimmy Conway. Jimmy was up here earlier with us talking. Uniontown staying zone. Devonte to the corner, tipped LH basketball. Get it here now to Walton, Nesser. Inside, beautiful pass, Partika, no! Ball was halfway down. Loose ball and Raiders uh, pick it up and try to convert now. That shot was halfway down and spun out. Great pass by Nesser. Here's a loose ball and this will be on Kahn. That's Tommy's second. Well, he can ill afford to get him in foul trouble. He is so strong uh, on the glass. I tell you, he and Shaw do a great job at that uh, power forward, if you will. Combining for about 12 points a ball game and double digits in rebounding, I'm sure. And Khan is shaken up and he takes a seat as Shaw checks back in. Go to the corner, pull up Jay on the way, no. Rebound, Davante lost it. Picked up by Nesser, ahead of the pack and gone in and strong to the hoop. 
is Ethan Mildren. Great pass, set him up. I think it was Devontae, got it out on the break. LH now by 12. Down the lane, the shot blocked, but a foul. And let's see the call as two shots coming to the line. We'll go. Number 24, Skeeter Wilson shooting two. Averaging 15 a ball game. And he's short. And I tell you, that's got to make Robbie Kazmarski cringe. I tell you, he was an outstanding free throw shooter in his day at Laurel Highlands. At one point, I believe, uh, 54 straight at the line. His senior year, he led the state in scoring with 37 a game, but great free throw shooter. Second one on the way, and no, and a rebound, Mildred. Boy, this goes up there. And get it now to Nesser. Way ahead now, Zelich. They leave him alone, and no, the follow by Shaw. Tip up and good. There's where LH has the advantage. Ethan Mildren taps it home, and LH now by 14 at the 446 mark. Here's Nesser with the steal. Going all the way and picking his pocket. Great job by Wilson. So they return, exchange turnovers. There's another one. Oh, got to be a foul there on Samori Wilson. And LH leading it now by 14. So here comes LH, bringing it up over the timeline, right there with it now. Is Partika between the circles? Partika goes inside, Nesser, gonna fire from in close, no. Tip by Shaw, follow a second time, won't drop. Rebound comes down, taken off by Thomas, and he'll get it up ahead. Get it to Arison, down the lane, the shot is blocked out of there. Second time, third time. And we got a foul. It's on Mildren. So this one will go against Mildren. That is his first. With 4.03 to go, we're right at the midway point of the quarter, and LH up by 14. Good crowd considering the weather, but I tell you, on a normal night, this place would have been sold out. And Uniontown misfires at the line. Chris Hall, second one coming. Had a nice game in the JV game, did Hall LH winning it, or Uniontown winning it rather 52-50. This one won't go, and over the back, this will be on uh, Daryl Ricks. He commits the foul. Uniontown gonna put the press on right now, and inbounding it for Laurel Highlands will be Zeke Zelich. Get it to Partika to Zelich. Zelich straight up ahead, throws it away. Raiders driving, firing, and no, rebound loose. And a shot, basket goes, and we got a foul. Did they call, they might have called an intentional here, Jerry. Let's see what they're called, waving everybody out of there. Intentional foul on Zelich. The basket went, I believe. At the line will be Daryl Ricks. It's up, it's good. 22-9. Second one on the way, and no. Uniontown basketball at the 3.52 mark. Raiders to inbound it. Now we got, the, they, they're gonna call with the hoop. If the foul occur before, they're saying no hoop. Now they're gonna, they're gonna talk it over with Kazmarski. They're saying the basket was no good. Timeout Raiders, and we'll be right back. 3.52 to go. 22-9, LH on top, we'll be right back.
The Kazmarski Funeral Home, located at 71 Pennsylvania Avenue in Uniontown, is owned and operated by Stephen E. Kazmarski III. The Kazmarski family is proud to announce the opening of its new and spacious service chapel and viewing area. The chapel will be used for funeral services that will be conducted in the funeral home and will also be available to families for use during visiting hours. Stephen Kazmarski, a lifelong resident of Uniontown, is dedicated to serving families in a unique, professional and caring manner. The funeral home offers pre-need funeral service, cremation services and accepts the transfer of pre-arrangements. With funeral service changing in our local area, the Kazmarski Funeral Home is very proud to say that they are locally owned and operated. Stephen Kazmarski III and the staff are members of your community. They are dedicated to providing a quality service at a most reasonable price. Remember, caring is our main concern. For more information, call the Kazmarski Funeral Home at 437-7555 or at your convenience, stop by and see our remodeled facility and new elegant chapel and viewing area. Welcome to Chikini Advanced Center for Dentistry, where we specialize in the latest dental techniques. I would highly recommend Dr. Chikini and Dr. Chikini for any dental implant procedures. They feel like my natural teeth, and I can eat and chew without any worries. I experienced no pain, now I have my smile back. Bringing smiles to life, Chikini Advanced Center for Dentistry, Cherry Tree Lane, Uniontown. Union Town, one of two off the intentional foul, and they get the basketball and they inbound it to Arison. And we got a foul here. And this one will go on Nesser. Now, from now on, both teams will be in the one and one. Shaw, Mildren, Nesser, Partika, and Zelich. Inbound feed over the top comes to Thomas. Get it to Arison. Harrison, dribble drive right side. Here's a steal by Nesser. Nesser wisely backs out of there. Get it to Mildred. Three ball. Boy, he's had some difficulty with the threes. He's missed four now. And that's, boy, I tell you, he usually shoots almost 50%. There's the steal on the baseline. Good play, but LH was on the uh, end line. Into the lineup for Uniontown comes Walker and Wilson. 3.23 to go. And the inbound feed will come. Get it out on top. And a foul. This will be on Partika. And it'll be the one and one. Let's see who they ring it up, I believe, on Partika. Okay. No, they're going to say it's on Nesser. Whew, I thought Partika. Second on Nate, Jerry and I both, and uh, over to our left, the WMBS radio crew agreeing also. Miss on the free throw, rebound down, and LH has got it. They've got the lead at 13. Oh, come on, guys. We throw it away. Zelich now pressuring as Winfrey brings it up. This one goes out of bounds. LH basketball. Off the bench comes Walton. Off the bench comes Hoke. 22-9 your score. LH with the basketball, leading it by 13. Chance to get their biggest lead of the night. They have led by as many as 14. Here's Partika. Go to the corner. Jacob, and he shuffled. And that took a basket away because he was free on the baseline. He's, that's where you're going to see a walk is at the top of the drive. He shuffled the feet. Under three to go now. They lob it inside. Shot put up, no. Battle hard inside. Shaw with the rebound. And we got a foul. And the one and one coming. Let's see the foul is on 0-0. Zero, zero. So that's on Ricks, his second. A couple of ex-Mustangs down there. Saw Jason Dunham here. Outstanding. Always remember him for a great game he had down at uh, Albert Gallatin his senior year. Also right in front of us here, Vince Teberry. Vince... If I remember right, number 54, an outstanding offensive and defensive lineman, and now a practicing attorney here in Uniontown. Missed it, 
Rebound, great effort by LH. Shaw keeps it alive. Kick it back, three ball coming. No, rebound down, Partika. They just own the glass right now. I tell you, they're all over the glass. Partika that time went in. Lay it down low, the catch, the shot, and a foul, and this will be on Uniontown, and it will send Mildren to the line, a chance to get the double digits. And substitution for Uniontown. Into the lineup comes Maurice Godfrey. Mildren had 27 in the win down at uh, Uniontown on uh, January 19th. He's averaging 22 and a half. Misses, oh, I tell you, we're having a tough time here with getting him on track from the outside. 13-point lead with 2.20 to go. Here's a steal by Jacob. Line, lane, hole, missed the lay-in. Ah. LH having some opportunities to put some distance away and coming right back is Wilson. LH could have added some distance or uh, added to that score. Partika goes inside and hammered from behind. And going to the line will be Mildred. Ethan 0 for 2 at the line. He'll shoot 2 right here. The lead is 11. Ethan, about a 70% free throw shooter on the year. Is that the free throw line? Pitt recruit. Baseball season coming up. And at a baby. He ring, got that one to go. Had a 45 point explosion here a few weeks back against Hemfield. The Saturday before the big storm, I believe it was Friday night, rather, before. Second one on away. And at a baby. Nails them both. The lead is 13. LH 24, Uniontown 11. Oh, nice no-look pass inside. They kick it back out. Jumper on the way. No, rebound Mildren on the glass. Get it ahead to Devontae. Devontae all the way. Drives in, fires, and he is fouled. So Walton will go to the line to shoot uh, two. This will be the double bonus, Jerry. Jerry Dupay and John Kazarek together for 20 years. Jerry, where has the time gone? Unbelievable. We've enjoyed it. And we appreciate all the nice comments we get. And oh, boy, LH has had about four of them just rim out. Second one coming. This could give them their 14 point lead back. At the line. This one looks better, and it is. LH by 14 at 25 11. Go to the corner. Arison, three ball, and it's good. So Evan Arison sticks the three. Get it ahead now to Partika. Boy, Uniontown putting a pressure on Mildren. Throws it away. Here's a steal. Coming with it is Thomas. Arison for three again. No. Rebound Partika. Get it up ahead now with a minute 16 to go. Hoke driving. Lay it off. Shaw for three. And no. Battle on the glass. One there by Thomas. Get it up ahead. Ball loose, picked up Arison, little spin move, and it goes out of bounds. And they're going to call a foul on Partika. Raiders have cut it now to 11. Could get it into single digits. This is a one and one. Arison, a good free throw shooter at the line. On the way, and good as you expect. Good three-point shooter normally translates into a good free throw shooter. As you've got that touch off the bench for Laura Highlands. We'll come to 6'6 junior Joey Juhas. And it's good. This is meeting number 95 in this rivalry. Would have loved to have been here for the first one when Laura Highlands came in and uh, ended Uniontown's long winning streak. And in their first game, they beat them. Three ball coming, in and out, no. Rebound, Juhas going up, and he'll go to the line immediately. <laughs> Laura Highlands cannot buy a three. The lead is nine. Going to the line will be Joey. Juhas played very well in the JV game. Came up big 
in the fourth quarter when LH uh, turned a big deficit into uh, a two-point ball game. Boy, Laura Highland struggling at the line. Both coaches got to be upset about that. LH struggling, Uniontown struggling at the line. Second one coming. Come on, knock it down, Joey. And he does just that. So the lead goes back to 10 with 50 seconds to go. Devontae, good defense. Get it to Arison, driving, kick it back out. Fadeaway jumper is around and good. Carrick Morris got the shooter's roll that time, so the lead is down to eight. Get it to Partika. Can more three ball coming and won't drop again. Mildren has not got one yet. Rebound down, taken off right there by Winfrey. But you keep shooting. Good shooters have to keep shooting to get that stroke back. The Raiders are close. 26-18. And here's the steal. Partika ahead to Devontae. Turns the burners on. Goes up with the hook. No. Follow. Yes, by Jacob Hoke with six seconds to go. Jake's first field goal down to one. Mid from midcourt. It will not go in LH by 10 as we go to the locker room. Laurel Highlands on top. Mustangs 28 and the Raiders 18. Coal Bank & Associates, located at 701 North Main Street in Masontown, is your neighborhood tax professional. We provide a friendly, private, and professional atmosphere, and our tax firm is government approved for electronic filing. Your return is back within 7 to 14 days. Coal Bank & Associates provides fast, accurate tax service while being bonded and insured. So make an appointment today with Coal Bank & Associates, 701 North Main Street, Masontown. Are you in the market for a new home? Then the professionals at Coldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty are the people for you. Locally owned and managed by Bill Watts, Paul Borch Jr., and Jim Woolslegel, who are all lifelong residents of Fayette County, they offer you the benefits of the multi-list service, and they and their staff of professionals can also help you with the financing of a new or existing home. They can be contacted at their two area offices, 554 Morgantown Street in Uniontown, across from the Uniontown Shopping Center, and in Connellsville at 1307 Morale Avenue along Route 119 North. Coldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty is proud to be a sponsor of tonight's Area Youth Athletic Event, and Jim Wolfslagel in particular has a deep appreciation of the dedication involved as he is a former, longtime accomplished high school basketball official. For all of your housing and real estate needs, see the professionals who know the area. Coldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty, owned and managed by Bill Watts, Jim Wolfslagel, and Paul Bortz, Jr. Let's take a look now at the stats. First of all, for LH on top here at the half by the count of 28 to 18. And Matt Shaw, two field goals for four. Zach Partika, a three-pointer uh, and a deuce for five. Devontae Walton, two field goals, one of three at the line. He's got five. Jacob Hoke, a field goal right at the buzzer to end the half. He's got two. Ethan Mildred, four field goals, two uh, a four at the line. He's got ten. Tommy Kahn, one at the line. And Joey Uhas, one at the line. LH with 14 in the opening quarter, 14 in the second quarter. Uh, 10 field goals, 1-3, 5-11 at the line. Now for the Uniontown Raiders, Daryl Ricks, 1 at the line. Evan Harrison, a 3 and 2 at the line. He got 5 in the closing minute. Uh, Skeeter Wilson, 2 field goals for 4. Arnold Walker, 2 field goals for 4. 2 field goals for 4 off the bench for Carrick Morris. And the Raiders with 6 field goals, 1-3, three, 3 of 7 at the line and their total of 18. 
We'll be back with second half action right after this. Tonight's game is being brought to you in part by State Representative Tim Mahoney of the 51st Legislative District. With offices in Uniontown and Connellsville, Representative Mahoney is dedicated to providing the best leadership and quality representation to his constituents. He can be reached at 66A Lebanon Avenue in Uniontown, 724-438-6100, and in Connellsville at 1402 Memorial Boulevard, 724-626-1164. Good luck to the Mustangs from State Representative Tim Mahoney of the 51st Legislative District. It's that time of the year again. Hart Baseball 2010 registration is up and coming. It will be at the South Union Township Municipal Building, 10 o'clock a.m. to 2 o'clock p.m. every Saturday during the month of February. That's February 6th, 13th, 20th, and 27th at the South Union Township Municipal Building, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Registration fees, one child, $50, two children, $45, three or more, $40 per child. A $10 late fee will be applied for any accepted player registration received after February. 27. All registration fees are non-refundable. Full payment is required at the time of registration. Please bring your child to the sign-up for uniform sizing. That's the Hart Baseball 2010 registration all four Saturdays in February, the 6th, 13th, 20th, and 27th at the South Union Township Municipal Building, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. LH basketball to start the second half, and they have got their original five starters out there. LH by 10, they've led by as many as 14. The Raiders had cut it to eight. Down the lane, Walton. Swinging around now to Partika. Go inside, good hustle by Jacob to get to it. Swing it to Devontae, out here to Partika. Go inside, Mildren going up, got it. Great move by Mildren. He's got 12 on the night. His inside game is what we're getting tonight, and the lead is 12 at 30 to 18. Mildren has 12. Here's Arison, stolen but carried out of bounds by Partika. Good hustle by Partika. He'll be back next year, as will Walton, as will Shaw. So we've got three out there that'll come back, but we will move up to quad A next year. Well, if we stay true, there's another identical play, the steal, and Partika to Jacob. He goes in, and he is fouled right in front of Mr. Diamond, Laurel Highland's principal. There's Bev Beal coming in. Always good to see her here. To the line. Let's go, Jake. Knock it down, buddy. LH by 12. Jacob at the line. And LH, 5 of 12 now at the free throw line. They're struggling. Second one coming. Looks better and is. So LH now leads at 13. LH, uh, 31, Uniontown, 18, 7, 14 to go. Here's Arison. Driving. Swing it over here to Thomas. Arison for three. No. And on the glass. I tell you, he's got to have 10 rebounds already is Mildred. Swing it over here now to Walton, Partika. Don't leave him alone, he'll shoot the three. Jacob out of the corner, Jacob's got it. Jake Hoke has five now and LH leads it by 15. LH 33, the Raiders 18 as Arison brings it up. Arison go to the corner, shot is rejected out of there. Second time it blocked, loose ball, Raiders Good hustle, keep it alive. Jumper from 16 by Arison, no. Partika on the glass, lost it. Got it back, get it up ahead. Here comes Devontae, get it to Shaw. Devontae right down the lane, missed the layup. On the drive, here come the Raiders right back and we got a whistle, a call and a foul. Laura Island's had their chance to get it up to 17 right there. Devontae with a great move, just couldn't finish it off. And we got the Raiders shooting two off the bench for Uniontown. We'll come Carrick Morris. 
So to the line goes Drakkar Winfrey. And he misfires. Second one coming. Both teams struggling at the line. And I got to see Robbie play. I know he was an outstanding free throw shooter. I know Rick was a point guard on some very powerful LH ball clubs in the 70s. And I would assume Rick was a good free throw shooter. And they missed both of them. Oh, nice rebound. Shot blocked and a foul. Walker got the put back and draws the foul. And I think it's on Mildred. So this is a big effort here by Walker. He's at the line. Arnold has six on the night to lead 13. And he line drives it up. No, and a rebound down. And we got a whistle. And we got a foul against the Raiders, I believe. And see the call. It goes against Uniontown. So that will be on Ricks, his third. A double up, good work, and now Uniontown trapping all over the place. Go to the corner, pass down low. Nice pass as uh, Shaw went back door to Jacob Hoke against the press, and Laura Highlands by 15 now with 5.49 to go. Third quarter, and out of bounds off Harrison's hands. So LH with a hoop here could get their biggest lead of the night, could get it to 17. Jimmy Burns at the table, Barry Rosner, Mr. Winfrey down. I think it's Calvin, right, for the Raiders as their official score. And I thought I might see Mike Shiroki, but I don't know if that's Paul Britton down there, maybe. Paul is there. Inside, Shaw going up. No. Rebound, Mildred. He's going up strong. No. LH missed twice inside. Raiders off and running. And nice move, but the ball comes loose, picked off by Partika. Partika ahead in transition, get it to Jacob, kick it back one time. Mildred, no, still can't hit a three. Three ball up, three ball no. Boy, we used to saying three ball up, three ball down. So the Raiders with the basketball now, and they have it to the corner to Walker. With it now, deep corner is Marcus Thomas. Stolen and Shaw having a heck of a game. Gets it up ahead, and here comes LH attacking. To the corner to Jacob. Kick it back out to Devonte. Out to the corner again. Jacob bounce inside. Loose ball going up and no. Tip once, twice, and this will be against LH. LH has missed a couple of uh, putbacks inside. And Kahn, first time he's come in in quite a while. And he will replace Mildren with three. Mildren with his third personal. Good chance for the Raiders to make a move with Mildren on the bench. And Harrison out of the corner. No. Rebound tipped. And there's Kahn all over the glass. Get it ahead now. Devontae running. Devontae to Jacob. Three ball. Yes. And a big basket there by Jacob Hope gives LH now an 18-point lead. That's their biggest of the night. LH 38, the Raiders 20. They go inside to Thomas, kick it back out. Walker has his shot rejected. And here's a steal by Walton. He accelerates, has a man open, go to the right side. Partika lay it up and in. Nice feed. From Devonte Partika forces LH to call a timeout. It's gone to 20 now. It's LH 40. Uniontown 20 will be back. Are you in the market for a new home? Then the professionals at Coldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty are the people for you. Locally owned and managed by Bill Watts, Paul Borch Jr., and Jim Woolslegel, who are all lifelong residents of Fayette County, they offer you the benefits of the multi-list service, and they and their staff of professionals can also help you with the financing of a new or existing home. 
They can be contacted at their two area offices, 554 Morgantown Street in Uniontown, across from the Uniontown Shopping Center, and in Connellsville at 1307 Morale Avenue along Route 119 North. Coldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty is proud to be a sponsor of tonight's area youth athletic event, and Jim Wolfslagel in particular has a deep appreciation of the dedication involved as he is a former, long-time accomplished high school basketball official. For all of your housing and real estate needs, see the professionals who know the area. Coldwell Banker, Laurel Ridge Realty, owned and managed by Bill Watts, Jim Wolfslagel, and Paul Bortz, Jr. LH by 20 at 40 to 20, and the inbound feed will come at the 350 mark. The Raiders with the basketball. Here comes Wilson. They go down low. Loose ball picked up. Still loose out of there with it. Good acceleration. Get it to Kahn. He lost it. Taken away by Wilson. Go down low, and no. Oh, there's got to be goaltending. They were on the rim. And the shot blocked and out of there with it comes Shaw. It's getting rugged inside. It's getting very physical. Here comes Jacob all the way. Lay it up soft. No, follow Con once, twice, three times. No, could not get it to go. Shaw was in there with Con. Just couldn't get it to go. Can't understand the uh, non-goaltending call. Here's a steal by Partika. He's had several of those. Down to 258 and counting. Partika into Shaw, back out. Little inside out that time. LH 40, Uniontown 20 with 245 to go. Three ball, Jacob, and off the mark, no. Rebound again, stolen. Partika has had several of those today. Devonte, no. Well, I tell you, we're, not, we're as cold as the temperature outside. Here's another steal. Walton, and he is tripped. And that prevented a breakaway too. And inadvertent, nothing intentional. And I tell you, as it worked out, that saved a two. Uniontown will put it in, or excuse me, LH will put it in play with 2.24 to go. And a substitution as Marcus Thomas checks in. Down to 220. LH 40, Uniontown 20. Partika, Walton. Go to the corner to Shaw. Both teams probably feeling the effects of no practice, no games for a week. I think LH might have worked out once or twice. And I think Uniontown did not work out at all. Takes a long time to get to your feel. 158 to go. Almost into backcourt, but Partika could have gone into backcourt to get it on an inbound. Watch, they go inside, Jacob down low, loose ball, and the Raiders could cut it to 18 with 145 to go. Comes Skeeter and a foul, it'll be on LH. One thirty-six to go, third quarter, loose ball, and it'll be Uniontown basketball. Inbound will come quickly, and right there with it is Skeeter. Samari Wilson, head of the circle. There's another steal by Partika. How many times can that happen? I tell you, he's got close to half a dozen steals tonight. He's had a heck of a game. Oh, we throw it away. Here they come on a break, and a shot, and a block, and a foul, and this would be on Kahn. Nesser to the table, ready to come in. And Zelich coming in. Nope, they're gonna put the foul on 24. That'll be on Jacob Hoke. And Short with the free throw. Devontae will get a break. Boy, he's had a nice game tonight. 
Zelich checking in. 112 to go, LH by 20 late in the third quarter. No. Oh, nice rebound. Sneaking in was Ricks. Arison, Ricks, and a foul. And this will be on Kahn. That might be four. Hogger, Coach Hogger, a little upset. That's the third. Okay, third on Kahn. Rick not happy there. First one on the way. It's good. Second one coming. Uniontown fighting for a playoff berth. Trying to come in as the fourth place, maybe the third place team. And both are good. So here's Nesser. Gets it up here to Partika. Get it up ahead. Poked away. The Raiders putting the press on. Go inside, going up, nice pass. Nasser threaded the needle, and Tommy Kahn gets it back to 20. 42-22 the score. Driving now, and firing. No, rebound put back up, and this will be on Kahn. That's his fourth. And off the bench quickly will come Juhas with 39 seconds to go. LH by 20 at 42-22. Uniontown has scored but four points here in this third quarter. And it's up and good off the bench also will come Paul Herman. Shaw will sit, Kahn will sit. Free throw was up, free throw was good. Second one coming here for Skeeter Wilson. Short, rebound down, here's Partika. Into the front court now, he's doubled up. Now goes to Nasser between the circles. 30 seconds to go. May just want to play catch with it and run the clock. You can go up no worse than 19 into the fourth quarter, and that's not bad. Here's Nasser. Partika doubled up. Nasser inside Juhas. Back to Partika. Over here to Nasser. His shot is rejected. And they battle hard on the glass, and two seconds ago it'll go to Uniontown. So LH is going to go into the fourth quarter lead, fourth quarter with a 42 to 30, uh, 23 lead. We've come to the end of the third quarter here, Harold Horse Tatum Memorial Gymnasium, the site of the 95th battle between Uniontown and LH, and LH on top. It's the Mustangs 42, the Red Raiders 23. Centers for Rehab Services, a partner of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Located at 84 North Gallatin Avenue in Uniontown, we provide physical therapy, occupational therapy, industrial rehabilitation, aqua therapy, and hand therapy with a certified hand therapist. Centers for Rehab Services values patient satisfaction as one of the highest of priorities and offers excellent care in a patient-centered environment. Our professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure cost-effective care and meaningful functional outcomes for our patients. Jim Burns, a lifelong Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy, positions that allow him to mentor physical therapy students in his clinic. He invites you to stop by and discuss your situation. Centers for Rehab Services is participating with all major insurance plans, including Medicare, UPMC Health Plan, and all of the Highmark products. We are available five days a week and offer extended hours until 8 o'clock p.m. Patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access, which does not require a physician's prescription. We work with many physicians and other health care providers to get you back into the game. For more information, please call us at 724-437-7500.
Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice. So ask for the quality and results leader. It's your health. It's your choice. Centers for Rehab Services. Welcome to Chikini Advanced Center for Dentistry. Where we specialize in the latest dental techniques. Sedation dentistry is a safe, effective way to get the treatment you need to maintain oral health. This is the only way I would have extensive dental work done again. Now I can get back to good dental health faster by getting more treatments done in one visit. Bringing smiles to life. Chikini Advanced Center for Dentistry. Cherry Tree Lane, Uniontown. It'll be uh, Uniontown to inbound it. And if they're going to get back in, they've got to make their run in these next two or three minutes. Here's Wilson. And a shot blocked. Loose on the deck. Nesser comes out of there with it, holds, gets it ahead. Here's Nesser into the forecourt. Nice play there by Paul Herman. They go alley you down low and laying it up and in is Ethan Mildren, LH by 21 now at 44 to 23. Here's a steal by Nesser. He's accelerating, going to hard to the rack. He lays it up, lays it in. So a big burst by LH to start the fourth quarter, make it 46-23. We said how important these first couple minutes would be to the Raiders. Well, LH has come out firing and got four. Loose ball and a reach in and a foul. And this will be a one and one for the Raiders. 46-23, your score. Good defensive effort by LH. And also contributing into this, you would also mention the fact both teams are extremely cold as far as uh, having practice time. And that makes a big difference. Off the bench will come Walker to check in. This is a one and one, they gotta get him in. Unless he's coming for the shooter. And Walker will check in and he will replace. Number four, Drakkar Winfrey. Saw Kenny Riddell here earlier tonight. Mrs. Uh, Hogger right down in front of us. Jim Reed here, Robbie Reed I believe also. Shot on the way, no. Good hard rebound and a nice pass in the lay in by Marcus Thomas. LH with it. Get it now to Nesser. LH by 21. Zelich, who's battled some foot problems, and boy, good to see him out there. Here's Jacob left alone. Nope, did not take it. They double up on Nesser. Lost it. Got it back. And loose on the deck. Here come the Raiders. Oh, good defense there by Zelich to avoid the layup. 46-25. Little banker off the glass won't go. Rebound down. Nesser ahead to Jacob and Raiders get it. Walker driving. Walker backing in. No. Ball tipped way out towards midcourt. And Skeeter gets it and lays it up, lays it in. Lead now is 19. Nesser, Zelich in, Zelich missed the follow. And what do we got? They're gonna call goaltending? What did they do, Jerry? Yep, basket is good, they'll give it to Zelich. For, I think they called goaltending. Give the basket to Zelich. So the lead is 21 with six minutes to go, Laurel Highlands. And LH 48, Uniontown 27. Put back by uh, the Raiders. Let's see what we got now. Both coaches working the officials here tonight. And to the line will go Skeeter shooting two. Okay, guys, get on the same page here. One official's ready to. I think it was goaltending. The ball did not go in the hoop. Six minutes to go, 
at the line. And he's got it. So he's starting to heat it up a little bit. He's got seven. And no. Rebound tipped around. Jacob Hoke wins the battle. Up to Nesser. Nesser down the middle, and he's fouled. Will not be a one and one. LH uh, tonight not getting the kind of game you uh, might expect from down inside, uh, especially with Mildred. But uh, I'll tell you, he's got 14 and double digits, I uh, would think, on the uh, rebounding side. There's Jacob Hoke hitting out of the corner. He stepped it up here tonight. Jacob hit two. So 50 to 28, LH up uh, by 22. That's the one thing that Mildred gives you. If he's not hitting inside, he's, uh, he's hitting outside and vice versa. There's a little hole. Bounce pass might have gotten through there, Jacob. Down the lane they come, and the left-hander, no. Rebound down, get it ahead. Here comes Mildred. And lay it up, lay it in. Mildred with the hoop. I think he wanted to dunk it, but lost control of the basketball. So LH by 24 now. That's their biggest lead of the night. 52-48 with five minutes to go. Walker out on top, the rainbow pass. Here's a steal by Nesser. All alone, lay it up. Uh, missed it, followed, and he was fouled. Tay took the shot a little too soon. He was in, boy. This is the effect of, of uh, not practicing and not playing for a week. Two shots coming for Nesser. We missed a few layups here tonight. Several putbacks off the bench. Will come Morris off the bench. Will come Jakar Winfrey and Maurice Godfrey. So Nesser at the line. Missed them both. Rebound tipped. And the lead is 24 with 4.41 to go. Cross court it comes now to Winfrey. Down the lane, the jumper won't drop. And going for the block, no. Nesser has it, and LH will come up the floor running. Ahead to Kahn, lay it up, lay it in. So Tommy on a nice feed from Nesser. And the lead is 26 now. Three ball coming, off the mark, no. Nesser with the rebound, lead feed ahead, the catch in traffic, and Kahn was a little too deep on it. Loose ball picked off here by Drakkar. He fires, no, out of from nowhere. Comes Kahn for the rebound, Jacob. Down inside, and L.H. basketball goes right past Timmy Mahoney. Mr. Wontrobe almost got his hands on that one. L.H. will put it in play with Zelich to do the honors. We have a substitution. Jacob uh, walking around like he's injured, and off the bench will come Devontae Walton. 3.53 to go. 54-28, your score. Laura Highlands up by 26, and they have moved their record out to a very impressive 19-1. Going in, left-hander put up and to the line. We'll go Ethan Mildred. Ethan shooting two. I tell you, in spite of not hitting a three tonight, he's looking at another 20-point night. That shows you how effective. It's a double-double because he's double in rebounds. And no, second one coming. The LH normally a better free throw shooting team than this. And good, out of baby. So Ethan, we're looking forward to a great year from him with LH baseball. Pitt recruit, 55, 28. They go down inside, loose. Raiders move it around with 3.33 to go. Little outlet comes quickly now to Godfrey. Three ball coming, no, to rebound down to Mildred, another one. 
What a force he's been on the glass tonight. Zelich, nice pass inside. Kahn, no. Kahn, no. Rebound loose. Here comes uh, Daryl Ricks down the lane to Morris. He lays it up. He lays it in. So we've got timeout on the floor with 3.10 to go. 55-30 your score. The Brown Smiley Nedley Insurance Agency was established in 1933 by Darrell W. Smiley. The agency has been owned and operated since 1990 by Harry Nedley, a lifelong resident of Uniontown. Brown Smiley Nedley offers all lines of insurance, including homeowners, auto, farm, and business, and the agency also offers life and health insurance as well as long-term care coverage. Brown Smiley Nedley is an independent agency representing a number of carefully selected carriers. We are also brokers so that we can obtain those out-of-the-ordinary coverages that are occasionally needed. Our mission at Brown Smiley Nedley is to help you design a plan of insurance that best fits your needs and budget and to establish a long-term relationship with our customers built upon trust. Our staff includes Harry Nedley, who holds the Accredited Advisor in Insurance designation, Tina Smeal, who holds the Certified Insurance Service Representative designation, Shawnee Shank, who holds the Life Underwriters Training Council Fellowship designation, and Cheryl Ward, who handles all bookkeeping services. We welcome you to stop by our office at 313 Morgantown Street here in Uniontown for a no-cost review of your insurance. Brown Smiley Nedley is also a part owner of Fayette Insurance Associates of Uniontown. The Brown Smiley Nedley Agency would like to go to work for you, so give us a call at 724-437-4504. Kazmarski Funeral Home, located at 71 Pennsylvania Avenue in Uniontown, is owned and operated by Stephen E. Kazmarski III. The Kazmarski family is proud to announce the opening of its new and spacious service chapel and viewing area. The chapel will be used for funeral services that will be conducted in the funeral home and will also be available to families for use during visiting hours. Stephen Kazmarski, a lifelong resident of Uniontown, is dedicated to serving families in a unique professional and caring manner. The funeral home offers pre-need funeral service, cremation services, and accepts the transfer of pre-arrangements. With funeral service changing in our local area, the Kazmarski Funeral Home is very proud to say that they are locally owned and operated. Stephen Kazmarski III and the staff are members of your community. They are dedicated to providing a quality service at a most reasonable price. Remember, Caring is our main concern. For more information, call the Kazmarski Funeral Home at 437-7555 or at your convenience, stop by and see our remodeled facility and new elegant chapel and viewing area. LH with a 25 point lead. Zelich inside, the jump hook by Kahn. He follows, lays it up and in. Boy, he's got great timing inside. He now has two, four, six, seven on the night. Three ball coming, and three ball down. Drakkar Winfrey sticks to three. 32 for the Raiders right now. LH 57, Uniontown 32. Mildred, a turnaround. Jay is up. It's good. That a baby Ethan. He's got 19 now. Averages 22. Loose ball picked up by Devontae Walton. Left, right, accelerates, underhand scoop, and a foul. To the table comes Bondarinka. He'll check in. To the line goes Devontae Walton. He's shooting two. First one on the way and got it. So Devonte, he's got six. Looks for point number seven.
Second one on the way. It is up. It is good. So Walton with two. Uniontown attacking with it. Out of the corner. Three ball. So Wilson hits a three. The Raiders have hit two consecutive threes. It's 61-36. Uniontown scored 35 at Uniontown back on the 19th. Go to Casey. He fires. Nice pass. Nesser to Bondarinka. So Casey lays it in. And LH now by 63 to 36. Starting to heat it up right now. Winfrey gets a quick hoop. 144 to go. So LH will improve their record now to 19 and 1, 9 and 1 in section with two section games to go and they're two tough opponents. They finish with. Uh, Indiana, and they finish as uh, Bondarenka goes to the line, lays another one up, couldn't get it to go, but he has a chance to get another deuce at the line. Off the bench. Shot coming, it's up, it's good. Nesser will sit. Bondarenka with three. Looking for number four. And he's got it. Substitution for LH. And at the line. Boy, both teams getting hot right now late as Winfrey hits another one. He's got seven, and this clears a steal, and a rebound comes down to LH. With the basketball now comes Bondarenka. He's doubled up and trapped right at the midcourt line. And did he go over and back? I think he did. So here comes. Trying to look at the LA. I think that might be Tyler Wakala out there, Jerry Wakala. Is out. We didn't get the numbers not up on the board. Driving, firing, no. And a rebound down by Wakala. And it's stolen. Raiders going right back up. Shot short. Rebound down Wakala. Get it to Zelich. And we've got a Uniontown player shaking up, but he's okay. 40 seconds to go. 65-40. LH on top. On the night, I think Mildred finishes with, well, we'll double check. Unofficially, I think with 19, 14, 16, 18, 19. Let's see, we got a whistle. I don't know what the time, now we're set. On the night, Ethan Mildred had eight field goals, three at the line. That rings up 19. So here we go. Could be LH's last possession with 40 seconds to go. Over the line now comes Zelich. Bondarenka, who has four big ones here in this fourth quarter. Bounce down low, try to get it to Kahn. <laughs> 29, 28, 27 seconds to go as the Raiders attack. Little wrap around, kick it back out. Three ball coming. I'll tell you right now, Uniontown got hot here as Carrick Morris sticks the three. And it's down to 15 seconds to go. And let's just see if Uniontown will pressure or just let him dribble the clock out. Down to 10 seconds. McCullough will fire off the mark. Four seconds to go. And driving and firing and scoring at the buzzer is number four, Drakkar Winfrey. And that makes the final score a 20-point win for LH. It's LH 65, Uniontown 45. We'll be right back. Coal Bank & Associates, located at 701 North Main Street in Masontown, is your neighborhood tax professional. We provide a friendly, private, and professional atmosphere, and our tax firm is government approved for electronic filing, 
your return is back within 7 to 14 days. Cold Bank & Associates provides fast, accurate tax service while being bonded and insured. So make an appointment today with Cold Bank & Associates, 701 North Main Street, Mason Town. Tonight's game is being brought to you in part by State Representative Tim Mahoney of the 51st Legislative District. With offices in Uniontown and Connellsville, Representative Mahoney is dedicated to providing the best leadership and quality representation to his constituents. He can be reached at 66A Lebanon Avenue in Uniontown, 724-438-6100, and in Connellsville at 1402 Memorial Boulevard, 724-626-1164. Good luck to the Mustangs from State Representative Tim Mahoney of the 51st Legislative District. It's that time of the year again. Hart Baseball 2010 registration is up and coming. It will be at the South Union Township Municipal Building, 10 o'clock a.m. to 2 o'clock p.m. every Saturday during the month of February. That's February 6th, 13th, 20th, and 27th at the South Union Township Municipal Building, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Registration fees, one child, $50, two children, $45, three or more, $40 per child. A $10 late fee will be applied for any accepted player registration received after February 27. All registration fees are non-refundable. Full payment is required at the time of registration. Please bring your child to the sign-up for uniform sizing. That's the Hart Baseball 2010 registration all four Saturdays in February, the 6th, 13th, 20th, and 27th at the South Union Township Municipal Building, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. swept the series last year. They sweep it here tonight as Laurel Highlands wins it by 20. It's the Mustangs 65, the Raiders 45. Hi again, everyone. I'm John Kazarek with Jerry DuPay. Welcome to a quick post-game wrap-up here tonight. LH trailed once in this game at 4-2, to two, one going away here tonight. Got the lead up to as many as 25. Matt Shaw, two field goals for four. Zach Partika, a field goal in the first half, third quarter, and a three. He ends up with seven. Devontae Walton, outstanding floor game. Devontae Walton has two field goals, two at the line and uh, three at the line for seven. Nate Nesser, field goal for two. Jacob Hoke, four field goals, a three, one at the line for 12. Ethan Mildred had 19. Eight field goals, three at the line. Three field goals, one at the line for seven for uh, Khan. Zeke Zelich has a field goal for two. Joey Uhas, a field goal, a uh, free throw for one. And off the bench, Casey Bondarenka, a field goal and two at the line for four. And LH's total 65. Great game uh, by Partigan. And I had him half close to double digits in steals and a double-double, I'm sure, for Ethan Mildren. And Jacob Hoke with a big game with 12 on the night. Now, Daryl Ricks with three. Harrison with five. Nine for Winfrey. Wilson with 11. Six is Arnold Walker. Two for Marcus Thomas, Carrick Morris with six, and Uniontown's total of 45. So LH moves now to 19-1. Uh, and one. The Raiders fall to 6-13. Uh, and 13. South Union Township Sports Network coverage, as always, brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Tom Frankhauser, Atlantic Broadband, Comcast, and Armstrong Cable Companies, and our good friends down at CUTV, J.R. Wheeler, Gary Smith, and their staff. For Jerry DuPay, I'm John Kazarek. From the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium, we bid you a very pleasant good evening. The final score, L865, the Raiders 45. This has been a South Union Township Sports Network presentation. Oh,